Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of May 14th through the 20th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, you are showing up in your own reading with the Justice card. Then we have Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Page of Wands, The Emperor, and the Eight of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Seems like some of you are kind of like all over the place. Um, maybe during this retrograde, you've found yourself in a lot of different situations or scenarios where you've had to act quickly in order to protect your peace or protect your energy or your emotions or something like that. It almost seems like you've been dealing with a fairly tricky situation. It almost seems like you've been dealing with somebody here that has very strong opinions about how you and them should move forward or how you should move forward and it's giving this energy of you kind of feeling the need to just keep yourself like away from this person i just feel like you're protecting your peace more than anything um, but i do see that some sort of communication is going to come through that will help alleviate the tension and the frustration of the current situation and it'll give this a little bit more of a successful outcome i really just feel that during this time maybe you're moving forward from that tension and learning a lesson about communicating about partnerships and you might be seeing a new perspective by the end of this situation it's like almost the you know the resolution includes you having a perspective a change some sort of um you know epiphany about your 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 love for this person i just feel like this is very like all over the place but it's because no no relationship is simple right like it's it's complex and there's a lot of layers to this as well and only you know how they all kind of stack up but i do see that shift from at first it's complicated there's tension there's frustration you know there's a need to maybe protect yourself make sure that you don't speak um you know in reaction to something too quickly like just take your time process the emotions um you know during the retrograde as well like it's so difficult to not want to react to something but we need to realize like during this time so many things are going to go on we're going to be triggered we're going to be feeling things but the week of may 14th the la that's the last day of the retrograde may 14th is the end and so you're moving from that frustration that miscommunication those disagreements those arguments the needing to just lay low and protect yourself to suddenly feeling like okay i think things are starting to get smooth there's some sort of justice in this situation at this time again the justice is connected to this communication you're going to be receiving some sort of message something is going to happen where the two of you are going to be able to really come together and realize that you just needed to talk it out. You just needed to come to a mutual understanding. And this is happening with a lot of signs. Um, I'm, I'm realizing that. And I think it's because during the retrograde, we kind of lose ourselves in all of the cosmic energy. And we forget that communication is really such a simple solution to these problems that we create. And these very big scenarios, they can really be solved with just a little bit of communication so i feel like this is the lesson you've learned recently in your partnerships and your relationships if you just talk things out and really listen to each other and not just wait to respond um that's where the justice comes in so maybe the person you were dealing with had to learn that because i don't get the feeling that this is you needing to learn the lesson i feel like you're the one that kind of helped this person see that i feel like you helped them realize okay, maybe if I just listened to Libra and not just wait to respond um, and think about what I was going to say instead of really paying attention, then maybe we might get somewhere. So I honestly feel like you, with your essence, your ability to just kind of calmly deal with other people as they are going through the learning process, that has allowed them to realize. And I feel like they're going to communicate and say, hey, you were right and I was wrong. So Libra, I really feel like you're getting the justice here because you are justice. You are the one that knows how to create some sort of peace with, within a situation, even when there is um, 
frustrations and that inability to see eye to eye. I feel like you're really teaching someone a lesson here, but it's coming from a good place. I don't think you're teaching them a lesson like, you know, out of any negative or petty energy. It's really coming from you just wanting the, the connection to be better. You just want that perspective to change. You want there to be success. You want it to move forward. You don't want it to, to take, you know, 10 steps back. Because also, I feel like with this person that you're dealing with, I feel like it's been an uphill battle. I don't think that it's been so smooth. I feel like you've been through different challenges and you're finally ready to say, you know what, we've been through too much together. It's time that we find a different way or a different coping mechanism. It's time that we find a solution or change our perspective so that we are successful and so things move slowly moving forward. I just feel like you're ready to change the direction of this entirely because you're tired of it being such a struggle i feel like you've done so much work on yourself as well throughout the years to be you know the best version of yourself and i feel like you want it to reflect in your relationships and so i see you taking initiative to make that happen it almost feels like you are the emperor in this reading because you are the one that's saying you know what normally i would kind of let this slide a little bit or maybe i would be more patient but i feel like you're getting ready to say i want happiness i want peace i want my relationship to be healthy and happy what what can we do how can we take more control of this but i see you taking that first initial step to guide this relationship and this connection in the right direction and i honestly see you being extremely successful libra because you're really tapping into your power you're tapping into what you do best, which is peacemaking, but from a place of good intentions and just wanting everything to be fair and right. And honestly, the person that you're dealing with, they have so much love and, and respect for you that even though they may be stubborn themselves and they may struggle with their own things, I feel like they're learning a lot from the way you carry yourself, the way you are um, moving the success of this relationship forward. And I feel like they're going to pay it back to you with you know, a change of attitude or behavior or perspective. So I really love um, where this is going. All right, so let's clarify the Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Yeah, I honestly just feel like you were so good at explaining what was wrong or you were so good at being direct and saying, hey, this is what we need to fix that they immediately realized, they immediately reacted and said, you know what, Libra's right. And so I think that that communication stems from them kind of listening to you for the first time ever, it seems, and realizing, okay, if I don't listen, if I don't pay attention to what's going on here, I might lose them. So I feel like they even had this moment, this epiphany of, I may lose Libra, for, for good if I don't step up. So I think that this fear of abandonment and rejection from you really whipped them into shape and it made them realize I need to take this seriously because I don't think you're playing around and they feel that. Um, to further clarify the Eight of Wands, we have Four of Wands, King of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. To me, this is saying the change is happening. It may be slow and steady at first. I feel like you could be dealing with a situation where maybe the two of you need to learn about each other a little bit more, or maybe the two of you need to allow time to pass before trying to move things so quickly. Um, the King of Wands just kind of represents that there is a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of desire for this relationship to be everything that it can be. I'm just getting the impression that it needs to take its time. I feel like this is maybe a new relationship and it almost feels like the best way to go about this is to just let nature take its course. So things are moving slowly, but they are moving and sometimes slow is better, especially when we are developing a relationship from not so healthy to healthy. So I think that this Knight of Pentacles is just representing that your person is going to take their time to get to maybe where you want them to be. But if you work together with them and let this relationship develop and grow and blossom naturally, it's going to be better than if you try to rush things and, and force it to be something else. With the Four of Wands and the King of Wands, I also feel like this is confirmation that because there is mutual interest in making this the best relationship or the best connection possible it's going to be something to celebrate it's going to lead to more than what you're currently expecting you might be getting proposed by this person or you might be marrying this person i just feel like the four of wands is that portal it's the fact that it is going to surpass any obstacle and this will be something successful something worth celebrating i feel like you're going to be very happy with the outcome of this connection and honestly 
it really just also proves that you are leading this connection to victory and i feel like you're learning a lot but you're also um helping your person learn a lot as well about love and relationships in general so i love this reading um really hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one